Welcome back everyone. Um, I just want to fill my quick intro. We actually just came back from church. We're about to, I think my, to go to a flea market and go to the grocery store. My husband's putting some meat on the grill when we come back home. So I just want to come in and fill my intro. But I want to thank everyone for subscribing and supporting my channel. Um, so I taught y'all how to do a quick little basic routine. But tonight, I'm gonna teach y'all how to do a skincare routine. We're gonna do a nighttime skin routine because I feel like my nighttime skin routine is better than my daytime skin routine because in the daytime, if you're rushing out to go to work, you really don't have time to be doing like skincare. But at nighttime, I really sit down and I pamper myself. I don't always do every one of these steps every night, but when I really wanna pamper myself, um, I do these steps. And so I'm gonna teach you guys how to get in there, get a good nighttime skin routine going, and basically how to pamper yourself and get you feeling great, get your skin feeling good, get you looking good, and everything could just, you know, you can get a good night's sleep and everything just can go smoothly. All right, so I'm gonna be back later, but it won't be later to y'all, it'll be a second, and we're gonna get into filming that routine. All right, so we're gonna start with removing our eyelashes. We're gonna use the Garnier Marcella Cleansing Water, which I love. If you don't use something to take off your eyelashes and you just rip them off, I'm sure y'all already know, you will, and the Q-tip, you will rip off your real lashes. I'm leaving proof because I've done it. Um, so if you guys wanna comment by, down below and. Let me know how y'all take off y'all lashes. I literally have to do this. Because if I do not do it like this, I will rip off all of my lashes. See how it's coming off? But if you tug on it, you will rip off a lash. You will rip off a lash. Um, the lashes I'm wearing today are some lash story lashes from Sephora. That's where I was getting um, my lashes because I love those and they were inexpensive. I think they were $8. And then I ran across the lashes on Shop Miss A. And I got a subscription um, from Lashy Box, which I'm gonna do an opening for y'all when it comes in. I ripped off one lash. I don't know if y'all could see that. Probably not. It's like it's not showing up on camera. It looks like you see a little bit right there. So I ripped off one of my lashes, but one lash is better than several lashes, which is what I was doing. But today has been a busy day. Um, We went to the flea market, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all, at the flea market, they got, like, so much of, like, cheap makeup and so much of cheap products and toys for the kids and all types of stuff. Um, but I said I might do a video to show y'all the makeup that they have at the flea market and maybe one day um, do a full face of flea market video, a flea market makeup video. But at our flea market, it's, they got outside and um, inside. I haven't been in years. My husband hasn't been in years to the flea market. Um, but they don't have AC. So when we went, it was afternoon time. I think it was like 1 o'clock. And it was like so freaking hot. And all, some, most of the vendors had already packed up and left. Because a lot of people, when they go, they go in the daytime. All right, now that we got your lashes off, those, baby, those lashes, I, I glued them lashes down for the gods, baby. Took me a while to get them off. So, the next step in my skincare, if I wasn't, if I was in a hurry and I ain't have time to sit down and remove my makeup, I'm going to tell y'all, y'all can just use this Marcella water. Take your cotton pad, it will wipe off all your eye makeup, your eyeliner, your mascara, and get your ill white wipe it down or makeup wipe or washcloth or whatever you use and wipe it down and then just go into your cleansers. But today, since I got this in 
one of my boxes. It was either the boxy charm or the fair put fun. It is Skin and Co. Um, truffle Therapy, and it's a cleansing oil. Now, the direction says to put this on a cotton pad and rub it on your face. I don't usually do a cotton pad. I just shake it up, um, put a little bit in your hand, and I put it on my face. Now, if you don't have this, you don't have to use it. You don't have to buy it. I know people use, like, coconut oil, which y'all think y'all got to go out and buy your thing that I got because you don't. I'm just using up my products. And what the oil does is it breaks down your makeup so good so it can easily come off. Oil breaks down makeup. We know that because when you get oily, your makeup starts breaking down. All right. So we just rub it in good. I like to take makeup wipe, use washcloth, whatever you have available, and just wipe all of that off that's on here. And it will take off your makeup. I remember like back when I first started doing my makeup and I started using, you know, good foundations and stuff, like when I would be taking my makeup off, that I would I would start having some breakout when I started wearing it. And I realized that the products that I was using to take off my makeup wasn't taking off all of my makeup and I was having residue makeup. So if I wore makeup the next day, I'll be putting makeup on top of makeup that was already there. All right, so after this, we're gonna go into our cleansing. Okay, so what I like to cleanse my face with is this Purity Made Simple. It's by Philosophy. It also says that it's a makeup removal so if you don't have any wipes or anything, you could just use this to take off your makeup. Um, I forgot how much this retails. I know on Black Friday, Sephora has a sale. I think Ann Ulta have a sale on it. And you can get it for $15, which is where this one came from. So I use some of this. And then I also use a Clarisonic, which is a brush that helps cleanse your face. It's a facial brush. It's an expensive brush. I don't think you have to buy this. You can use a washcloth. You can use whatever brush you have. Whatever you have. You don't have to use this cleanser. Just whatever you have at home, just use yours. So I place like a little bit of the product on the center. I don't apply it straight to my face because, you know, I guess you girl a little extra. And you just turn this on. And, and if you run it in circular motions, and this will take off any residual makeup that you didn't get with the oil and also cleanse your face. And you can put the settings on, whatever you want. It also has different settings that you can use with your Clarisonic. It's a Bluetooth and it connects to your phone. It keeps up with like how many days that you use it in a row. It counts your days. It has different settings. You can make the timer longer. I think the setting I have mine on is where you can wash your neck too. It gives you like so long to like do your forehead, do your nose, your cheeks, and then it beeps. And I used to follow that, but now I just like to go all over. It's a good tool to have. So if y'all would comment down below, let me know what y'all like to use to wash your face. Look at it. See, I had residual makeup, especially for like my neck, because I didn't take the oil down there. And you would like to just to rinse it off. All right, now, um, take your warm rag. This is a microfiber wash rag I got from the Dollar Tree. And you just wipe that makeup off. My face is like super clean. You can tell when you use a good product on your face. And sometimes I use um, another cleanser after that, but you don't really have to. Um, sometimes I can buy my cleansers. Um, this pharmacy cleaning bee is also a cleanser like that I would follow up with that or just combine it with it. But today I'm going to skip that step. And we're going to go into um, our facial mask. So the first mask we're going to use is, oh, I forgot to exfoliate. We're going to exfoliate actually. Exfoliation is good. And this is going to be my first time trying this out the refrigerator. This is the Equate. Apricot cleanser, the knockoff of the sink eyes. So when you exfoliate your skin, 
you want to exfoliate um, one to three times a week as much as your skin can tolerate. And when you use this, it has little granules in it and you can feel it like massaging your face. Now what exfoliation does is it gets all the dead skin, the top layer of your skin, all the dead dry skin, all sometimes I have eczema real bad, so sometimes I get like little dry patches. And so when I go in with this, this just gets all the bit up. Um and then you just do this for a little bit as long as as long as you want get your get your skin in. Um, I try to exfoliate at least once a week and I can tell when my skin needs to be exfoliated because it will be dry. You have dry skin, dry patches, and after you exfoliate, honestly, your foundation does look better. Your makeup looks better um, after exfoliation. So we're just going to do that for a little bit. After that, we're going to just wash this off. All right, we got our exfoliation cleanser. This is a nighttime skin routine. So before I do my clay mask and stuff, I really like to shower. So after I wash my face and I exfoliate, um, I will hop in the shower and get my shower on because when I'm doing my mask, I like to relax in the bed, watch some TV, talk to my husband, talk to my friends on my phone, while my mask dry and stuff like that. So that's what I would normally do. But we're going to just go ahead and get into this. So I'm going to use the sky sand and sky australian pink clay pore refining face mask detoxifying and brightening um so this is it right here i actually got this on the boxy pop pop-ups um store i forgot how much it retails for like i forgot how much i bought from for boxy charm but it was like way below retail value and if you don't have don't worry about not using an expensive um mask you can um get some from dollar general i used to get those little packs from dollar general matter of fact i think i still got some from dollar general when i first started so you don't necessarily have to go out and buy expensive products i need to get this thing open sure. this is new i haven't used it before but um i do use um a clay mask and then i've been trying some different ones and i've been waiting to try this one. all right so i got it open this is what it looks like in a jar i don't know if you can tell but it's kind of pink ish um so i'm going to use this applicator you don't have to use the applicator you can use your face bar i really like this one it's the yes two i got from sephora um, when y'all shopping on Sephora and Ulta, please shop a sale because I do. Sephora and Ulta, they also have sale stations. And sometimes you can catch a product on there that you wasn't expecting to catch on there or a product that you was going to buy, but you had been waiting to buy because you didn't want to spend that point on it. And you can get it. So we're just going to apply this all over the face. It feels good. It feels so cool because it... This came out of the skincare fridge if you saw that video if you haven't please check out the skincare fridge video um that's why i love that thing because this thing feels this stuff feels good um so on the thing it says that it's infused Botanical infused pink clay mask, super power four and one formula. It's an instant detox mask to tighten pores, um, invigorate a dual complexion, and instantly boost radiance. So we just apply this all over. And it says to use um, for oily skin two to three times a week. For sensitive skin, one to two times a week. It doesn't say how long you leave it on, but I usually just use my clay mask on until like they dry, sometimes 10, 15 minutes. And we're just gonna connect all that. We're gonna wait for it to dry. And then we're just gonna take this off and move on to the next step.
all right so we've washed off our clay mask and we have a nice clean face i just want to show y'all some options that i got from i actually bought these from dollar general and i do use them but this is a dead sea um clay mask so you can get this from your dollar general just to let y'all know that y'all don't have to use high-end products but we know that the high-end products sometimes work a little bit better sometimes the cheaper products works just the same and this is a yes a yes two mask and they sell these at Ulta actually but my local dollar general had started selling some so but they have different types of masks but today the mask i'm going to be using because those weren't in the skincare fridge and this one was it's um a vegan approved broccoli plumping mask now usually after i do all that cleansing because it's a lot of cleansing you're stripping your skin of everything i like to use a hydrated mask after it but we're going to use this plumping mask um and it says the solutions for signs of aging, tired skin, lack of vitality, um, and stuff like this. So this one doesn't say how long to leave it on. Oh yes, it says leave it on and let it rest for 15 minutes. But you can leave your mask on for longer if you want, or you can do like five to 10 minutes. So we're going to open this up and we're gonna put this on our face and we're gonna let this soak in and we're gonna move on to the rest of our process. I think we gonna open it up. If y'all guys want, y'all can tell me what kind of cleansers y'all, um, what, what are y'all favorite cleansers? I'm gonna tell y'all, honestly, when I was using um, my cleansing, of, when I, I started breaking out, wasn't cleaning my face, it was like that Elf Hydrating Line. And it just was not, getting my makeup off i just did not have it was just not was not doing me good and if you wear makeup and you don't clean your face and you don't have a good skincare routine you're gonna do more damage to your skin that's already there so skincare is very important plus when you take all that makeup off and you get ready to lay down with your boo or you finna go out you're not gonna put on no makeup you want some good skin look at this this feels really, really good, especially after you didn't strip it. Cause after you stripped your skin, it starts feeling dry and you can really tell it. So this feels really hydrating and really good. It's got so much product on it. When I pulled it out, some of it actually spilled out of the thing. It still got so much in here. Some people use their sheet mess more than once. After they take it off their face, they'll fold it back up and they'll put it back in the bag because it's still like some stuff in here. Um, I tried that. That really doesn't work for me because it just never feels like the first time. So we're gonna let this sit in and I'll be back and we'll finish, go to the next step. Okay, we've got a mask, our shade mask set off. And this is going to go in the garbage. Next, they say to leave the essence on to not wash this off because it helps your skin. Um, you can rub the skin with your fingers, but you can also use your rose quartz roll. Um, a lot of people use this to rub in serums, and the uh, essence left off on the sheet mess is just like a serum. And this is also can be used for depuffing. Oh man, y'all understand? Like this thing just came out the refrigerator, and it is life. It feels so. Good. You wouldn't think cold stuff would feel so good on your skin, but it does. And I like to use this side to just get in there with my eye. Um, so normally I would just like let this sit a little bit, give it time to dry. I had a thing in, y'all, that I used, but I've lost it. I just want to let y'all know to please shop sales, shop smart. If you don't have these things, go to the Dollar General, go to Walmart, get some cheaper items. You can still pamper yourself with cheaper items get you some subscription boxes um so next i like to go in with my dr dennis dark spot this is actually a trial size that i got free from sephora if you shop sephora you know sometimes you'll get those emails or they'll have on their website spend so much 
you can get this item free if you put in the code. And so this is what I decided to use. I'm almost out. Um, I like this, but it's expensive. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it. But I used to have, you could probably see it a little bit, a little scar right here. Um, it was a little darker, and I had some spots here. And you can still see those because I hadn't been using it on that long. I was using it over here for a while, and I got like a spot there. And you just take, um, it's got a little dropper, like most serums do. And you just go in. Um, this says to put it all over your face, but um, I know I just put it on my like dark spots and you rub that in. Now, I used to have the ordinary hyaluronic acid, which now is sold at Sephora and um, Ulta, but it was only seven dollars. I used to use that a lot after I used that, but I dropped it on my bathroom floor, which is tile and it broke i'm sad about it but i just haven't replaced it so you can use more than one serum on your face and since i haven't tried this we're gonna go into this 111 um skin it's a vitamin c brightening booster uh it says directions shake well mix one to two drops into it says put this into your moisturizer so we're gonna hold off on this one we're going to go ahead and go in with the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. This is really good for your skin. Um, it's really good for your skin. It has HAAs. And it says it's a powerful multi-correctional night serum. So you only use this at night. Um, resurface, resurfaces face skin for a smoother, youthful looking, glowing complexion formula. It has HAA, BHA. Flower acids to exfoliate and blend and hydrate your skin. It says apply generously one to two pumps to clean skin at night, avoiding eyes and lips. Do use this two to three times a week. Um, and it says you make you can build up to more frequency. And it says it's a slight tingling, baby. I don't think it's a slight tingling. I think it's a slight burn sensation, but it's not like a burning sensation. It's like burning off your skin where you can't tolerate it. And I just shake it up a little bit and I just apply like one pump usually. I don't do two pumps. And I just apply it directly to the skin. And you can use your hands, but because it is a serum, I'm gonna go back into our roller. Um, all of this stuff is straight out of the skincare fridge. It's stuff that you've seen before. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. Um, so we're just gonna roll 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 this into the skin and you know okay so after that what i like to do right before i moisturize is i use the facial spray the mario badescu um rose oil facial spray and it has aloe and herbs and rose water. It's really good for hydrating your face. You can use this in the daytime or at night. It just refresh your face and hydrate. It's really good for skincare. So I like to use this before my moisturizer and my skincare routine. And I promise y'all I have a thing in somewhere. But y'all know how it is when you have stuff in yourself. And so I like to let it kind of fan it and let it dry me in some. Look at look at this glow of skin. Look at it. Just just hydrated. We just stripped everything and we just built it back up with great hydration products. But we ain't done yet. Um so we're gonna my moisturizer I use, I use this as a nighttime moisturizer. Um, it's the It's Confidence in a Cream. I'm pretty sure I got this in a boxy looks. It's an anti-aging armor, transformation, moisturizer, super cream. Um, direction says to apply with, with clean skin in the morning and evening using upward sweets motion applied to your face. Um, I only use this at night because to me it's kind of a heavy cream, 
When I use moisturizer in the daytime, especially if I put on my makeup, I like to use a light moisturizer, um, like that Glow Recipe, um, the pink moisturizer I had. That's a very light moisturizer because sometimes I can get oily like right around here. So I don't like using a heavy moisturizer in, in the mornings. And to me, this, this is a heavy cream moisturizer. So we're just going to take some. And so we're going to use this 111 vitamin C. Vitamin C is a brightness skin. It's correct dark spots in your skin, color corrects for you, and it's really good for your skin. So I'm just going to apply a little bit in the moisturizer and kind of mix it up a little bit. And we're just gonna apply that to the face. So we are almost to the end. And with that saying, after this, I'm gonna let my son come in and give his friend a shout out. He said that he wanted to Put his face on camera he got his friends to subscribe to my channel which i appreciate so i'm gonna do that i don't know if i i like this moisturizer it's really good but it kind of feels a little funny with that with that stuff in there um but you're gonna see we're gonna come out with some glowy skin and some my baby do you sleep with this on so if i do all this at night time i'm gonna be honest with y'all my skin care routine in the mornings is wipe my face with uh, uh makeup white and if i'm gonna do makeup i apply um a light moisturizer but if i'm not gonna do makeup i apply um i use a little bit of more heavier moisturizer because i'm gonna be throughout all day and so sometimes i like to see in this and let this sit in a little bit and you know that's it um, and if you can see that our skin is glowing, it's radiant, it's great. Um, but I just want to make sure that after you use this, it says to avoid the sun. So just make sure you use some SPF. I've got some, my favorite sunblock, I should have brought it up here, but yeah, it's the Sun Bum Facial Sunblock. It's got 50. I know some people doesn't, doesn't do any good after 25 or 30 SPF, but the sun is really bad for your skin. So any day, anytime, that you going out there in the sun, please use some SPF on your face. And if I'm using, doing my makeup, I will apply my SPF before I apply my foundation. Or you can get your moisturizer. I apply my SPF and then do my moisturizer. But there are some moisturizers out there that has SPF in there, but they have like 25 or 30. I got, I like a little bit more because like I said, I have eczema sometimes. I get dry patches on my skin. So I bought a separate one, but if I'm not going to be out in the sun too long, I probably just try to avoid the sun from going to the store. Just don't walk in the sun or walk my face down so it don't get direct sun, con sun contact. The sun is really bad for your skin. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my video and enjoyed my tips. And please subscribe. If you know any friends that will like this channel, send it to them, tell them to subscribe. And thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Shout out to my friend Chris.